Hello and welcome back to Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. We are going to the Giovanni Mansion. So, we're all ammoed up, we're all armored up, we have all the buffs we can get. I think it's time to go. Where to? Just drive to the Giovanni Stronghold. Now there's two quests in here. We need to one, find the Ankaran sarcophagus or where its current lo location is, and two, we need to find an object uh, like some kind of artifact for uh, Pisha, or um, cannibalistic vampire. Is it cannibalistic if we're a different species? I guess that's uh, a larger debate, isn't it? Anyway. Our flesh-eating vampire friend. Oh, I'm not stealth. Okay. When I come out here. Alright, well, let's try the stupid option, right? Oh. Hello. Yeah, what is it? Is this the Giovanni Mansion? Giovanni? Oh yeah, here's a place. I haven't met you before. Are you a family member of the family? Yes, I am. Is that right? Hell of a family to be born into or married into or both. You have an invitation with you? No, I don't. Hey, don't worry about it. I'm sure they'll let you in. Just tell them, Izzy. Just tell them you... Just... Oh, you lost it! <laughs> I lose things all the time. All right. Do you have an invitation? Did I just say I have an invitation? If I did, yeah, I have an invitation. Mm, give me your invitation. My husband is a—he is a big, tough guy. So you can, you can kiss my ass, fella. Well, forget it. Hello. Yes, you know what is it? The happiest couple in the place. Just keep it under two glasses of wine. Do you think you can do that, Maria? Oh, it's got double lines going on here. Is your wife okay? She'll be fine after I get a pot of coffee in her. Hmm. Um. Well. You know. Put your finger down her throat and let her puke it up. That should sober I'll keep it in mind. But we're expected inside. Excuse me. I'll keep it in mind. But we're expected hey. inside. Excuse me. Um. Forget it. Okay, so she has an invitation if we need that. There. Okay. Hello there. No. Nope. Hello there. No. Nope. Hello there. No. Nope. Hello there? No? Hello? You have invitation? No, I don't. I ask you to leave, please. Um, alright. So, we can kill her and her husband, but that's obviously gonna lead to bad things. I'm just wandering around. Don't you worry about me, I'm just exploring the garden. I'm just a friendly garden explorer. You don't need to worry about me. I think it's working. I think they bought it. Hello there. Hello. Sorry, you can't come in here right now. Sorry, you can't come in here right now. Oh, that's all right. I will just have to find another way into the mansion. Hmm. So if we incapacitated him, we can get in the mansion. Definitely. I think if I said the right things or had a high enough persuasion, I could have persuaded them to give me their key. But do I have experience for that? No, because I just use all my experience. Hmm. What is that? That looks intriguing. It is a fountain. All right, well. Is there anything else here? Mmm, that is another found. Ooh, a manhole cover, you say? Hmm, no. Alright then. Is that just suggesting some guests have come in via manhole? Hello. He had a very shiny head for a second. Hmm. Well. You know, if all else fails, I've asked everywhere. 
Let's try and be threatening. Hey. My husband is a Big words for a dead woman. Hey, stop right there. Ow. Come with me. You will Yeah. Oh no, I've made a terrible error in judgment. Oh no. Ah Drink his blood. Drink his blood. Hey. There we go. Thanks for the invitation, mate. Right. Ah. Well, I'm feeling much nicer now. Much happier. Right. Uh, hello there, I have an invitation. You live now. Uh, something bad will happen to you. I found my invitation. Mm -hmm. Please have a wonderful time. Thank you. They're so polite here, aren't they? Right, well, now we're in here. Very impressive place. Hello. Want to mingle with the party? Hello. Oh, hello. Uh, hi. I'm, um... <laughs> Beautiful, I know. Nadia? Nadia Milliner. Um... Nadia, a name as beautiful as a wild orchard in bloom. <laughs> this party seems a little lifeless. Know somewhere we can talk? I know a perfect place for us to talk. No one will ever find us there. Follow me. Oh, fantastic. Ooh, where are we going? Oh, a secret doorway. Oh, where where are we going? Come on. All right. I mean, wasn't quite what I expected, but all right. Oh, we we've solved it. Okay. Uh, this is creepy. It's a place to talk. Just I'd let you know. I don't know what that does. Hello. Do not talk during combat. What do you mean combat? Hello. Here we are. Uh, this is an embalming room, isn't it? They prepare the dead here. It's so cold and lifeless. Death just hangs over this whole place. It makes me so... What is it, Nadia? Let's bring some life to this place. Let's do it here, in the very spot the dead have laid. The ultimate exhibition of living right here. It would be cathartic. Um, well, come here, Nadia. I'll treat you to an ecstasy unlike any before. So I guess I'm just going to kill her now. Well. You know, I thought it was okay because somebody told it's if the, if the... Wait, I'm here? Oh. My husband. <sighs> hey, hold it. You see, draining him's fine, but draining her? No, no, that's against all the that's against, you know, common decency. <sighs> I don't know. Right. Things I do for humanity. Right. Got him. The drain him of blood. There we go. Let's go back in there and let's sweet talk uh, her. Although, we might try a different tact. I know we can sweet talk her. So now I know that, we might want to have a look around because I think we still need to find the artifact as well. Find my invitation. Thank you. And in we go. Right. 
So I still need to find the artifact, I think, before we head down there. But we know the way down into the embalming room. Okay. Do a little quick save. Right. I should probably sneak. I'm just going to walk into rooms. That's fine. Absolutely fine. In here. There is somebody in here already. And there's a dead someone in there. Wait, lot picking below the level of 10? Okay. Oh yeah, blood buff won't help us at all. So what is our lot picking level? Lot picking level with that is 8. Wow, okay. That's fine. Oh, there's secret doors in here. Well, that is interesting. That's probably our aspect for let us find them. Wait, he just opened. Oh, because I was sneaking around, he opened that door for me. Okay, so that's the way forward is to open that door. That's like our objective is open that door. I understand. Just having a quick look around here. There might be all sorts in this mansion. I mean, most of it appears to just be empty. I'm just going to quick save again. Don't know why. We haven't really achieved very much. Okay. Everything's lot pick difficulty 10. Well, that is. That's something. Are these just rooms for guards to spawn in if you make a ruckus? They are, aren't they? These are just spawn rooms. And this is the kitchen. Okay, looks suspiciously like a spawn room to me. Okay, so realistically, going through all of that, our only option is to be at the party and go through that door. I might as well take her down with me, I need some blood. Anyone else around this party? Hello. Fantastic party, huh? What? Oh, uh, sure. Um, something to matter? Family events. Uh, how many more of these do we have to attend before we're taken seriously? I mean, honestly. Yeah, really. They're pitting us against our own flesh and blood for the privilege of joining the power click. All you hear is, what have you done? How much did you make? Who do you know? You can't tell anyone anything, because they might use it against you. You mean, if you found dirt on others, you wouldn't use it? The heart says no, but the businessman in me tells me to smear them into the ground. I guess I would. And I know they'd probably do the same. Hmm. So if I was to hear gossip about other people, you'd be interested? Yeah, I guess I would. If I hear anything, I'll let you know. Interesting. Hey, what's up? Sorry, you can't come in here right now. Hey. Hey there, Adam Dunser. I don't think we've met. You are? Victor. Victor, pleasure to meet you. What line of work are you in? I'm, I'm... I'm an importer-exporter. Myself, I'm an investment banker. Great business, a lot of potential. For example, I got the inside track on this company right now. And let me tell you, when this company goes public, everyone's going to wish they had a piece of it. 
Uh huh. Oh, tell me more. Well, it's a biotech firm. You know, they're working on growing replacement organs. Really fascinating technology. In a couple of years, I bet everyone will be going to them for parts. I figure an investment of fifty thousand dollars could be easily tripled in five years. Uh huh. Well, you have experience in this. How much did your last investments return? You take risks in this game. Sometimes you make a million. Sometimes you lose a million. The economy changes. It's had problems lately, but it's bound to rocket back any week now. You don't sound very confident. I won't lie to you. I've had a couple of busts here and there. Had a few losses. It happens. But this company, this is the big score right here. Anything you wanted to invest, fifty, thirty, fifteen grand, whatever. It's high yield, low risk. Hmm. So essentially, you haven't made any money in a while. Well, the business, it's. Well, you'll understand if I have to pass on your offer. Okay, all right. You change your mind, you let me know. All right. Uh, excuse me. The she lets us get downstairs. Anyone else? No. Nope. Oh, hello. Might as well be a costume party. Everyone's smiling, pretending this isn't a pageant put on by the patriarch of this family. Fine. But this is a contest, and I came to win.、Mm, okay. Well, I'm Victor. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Hmm. Mira. Mira Giovanni.、Hmm, Mira. That's a beautiful name. It suits you. Oh, please. I've had men hitting on me since I was twelve. I've heard all the lines.、Hmm. Um. Well. Can you really blame them, beautiful? Ah,、uh, I can't take this anymore. Excuse me. What? Go away. Uh, fine. Okay. Well, that was a said the wrong line thing. It's fine. It's fine. Well, I'm gonna try upstairs. Let's see what we got upstairs. We got three locked doors upstairs. All right. Well. Anything I can tell this guy? Are you still interested in some family gossip? Yeah, I guess I would. All right, that's fine. Well, I don't have any family gossip, so hey. Ah,、uh, hi. I'm um.、Uh... Beautiful, I know. Nadia, Nadia Milliner. Well, a name as beautiful as a wild orchard in bloom. <laughs> This party seems a little lifeless. Know somewhere we can talk? I know a perfect place for us to talk. No one will ever find us there. Follow me. Oh, fantastic! No one will、Come、ever on. find us. You know the door is already open, right? There's a guy standing. <laughs> oh. Well, I'm not fighting back. This is a peaceful protest. I don't know what consequences having done this will have. I love it. Hey, Nadia. I really want to click that to see what it does, but here we are. Well, um, at last we can be alone. They prepare the dead here. It's so cold and lifeless. Death just hangs over this whole place. It makes me so amorous. Let's bring some life to this place. Let's do it here, in the very spot the dead have laid. The ultimate exhibition of living right here. It would be cathartic. Hmm. Uh, come here, Nadia. I'll treat you to an ecstasy unlike any before. Right. Then we take her blood. Then we don't kill her. That's the secret, basically, is we don't kill her. Oh, that goes down to like a lower level, huh? Interesting. 
interesting. Do a little lot picking. Uh, well, that's something I can solve. Lot picking eight. Easy. That's another way down. Okay. Let's do a quick save now, actually, now that we're uh, past the point of things going horribly wrong. That one's locked. <gasps> the book! I got the book! Aha! Fantastic! So now we have everything I need here, so I can just progress with the main quest. I love it. Right, well, we have two ways down. We can go down this way, or the stairs, and you know what? We're an advanced uh, vampire, we're going down the stairs. Exclamation mark knows means that they know I'm here, doesn't it? And that they're coming. Okay, well, we'll just be slightly prepared. Oh, I see. It's this. Right. That's fine. I'm quite good at dealing with these. Right. Excuse me, you're not dead. You know what would be better than this one, actually? Be this guy. There we go. Doesn't make their head explode, but it does kill them. Really, what more could you ask for? They must be the people who are making the dead rise at the cemetery. So this is personal. Now. All right, all right, all right, all right. Alright, anyone else? Ooh. Experience modifier 1? Wait, that just increases your experience? A tide chorus of whispers washes across your thoughts. They seem to be offering guidance, but their messages elude to your conscious mind. The motivations are unknown, but you find yourself increasingly willing to submit to their guidance. As long as you possess the Solacept, you will gain an extra point of experience every time you're awarded 3 or more experience. It may or may not have other effects. Okay. More people here? Yep. That's fine, we can deal with that. Someone else here? No, okay, no no other zombies. Because otherwise it would immediately pop up. Okay, we're good. No zombies down here either. Again, otherwise it would immediately pop up. Now there are zombies. Okay. Well. Don't know there's zombies yet, so let's just, uh. Uh huh. There's zombies. Let's go. That's fine. And out again. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say they know I'm here. That's all right.
Okay, where are they? Don't like the large empty corridor with nothing in it. Just in case there was a trap floor or something. They still know I'm here. Okay. I'm lost, but that's alright. No opening. That's fine. This one opens. Leads to nothing. Okay. In here. You kidding me? There we go. That's where I want to go. Oh, we're in the next level. Oh, okay. That was easy enough. Lovely. I just actually realized something about this item we picked up. This means that if you were wanting to maximize things, right, get the most XP, what you should have done is come here as soon as possible. You then get that, and then you get more XP for every single area you visit. Anyway. That, that isn't the case. What is going on here? Oh, okay. Kindred, your presence here violates the agreement between our leaders. Leave now, or face the consequences of your actions. Uh, let's discuss this problem, whatever it may be. There is an alliance between your leader LaCroix and Mistress Ming Zhao. You violate the agreement. If you do not leave, we are not responsible for your death. Okay. Um, what alliance? What are you talking about? We'll give you one more chance to leave this place and keep your life. You will go? Hmm. Uh, well, I wanted to say yes, but that's fine. Well, I've got my mission. I will stay. The time for decisions has passed. We Chang brothers accept your life graciously. Sorry, but you won't get it. It's already gone. Uh, white, white claw and blade blow. Oh, no, 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 no. Whoa. No. No, 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 no. I'm gonna have none of you to be here. Didn't mean to press this, but it seems to break sometimes. Somebody helping me? I those like explosions and they fell down. What are they doing? Okay. Law Brothers dead. Just Blade Brother left. I say just, but oh god! Oh, it's them hurting themselves. I see. That works for me. I'm out of ammo. Well, that sucks. That would have only been three experience normally, but that was four. Look at that, I got the Ankaran sarcophagus. Easy as pie. Whew. Oh. Hello there. Everybody? Uh what's going on? Um Hey there, Beckett. 
Uh, LaCroix. Large man. My wunderkind returns. In my entire court, I knew there was only one who could have succeeded in this task. Finally, the Ancoran sarcophagus is ours. Come, I've granted Beckett's request to study and document all the markings of the sarcophagus. You've met Beckett, haven't you? Let's go take a look inside and see what the commotion around the city has really been all no, about. No, 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 no. Uh, before we get to that, um, I need an answer. Are you in alliance with the Quasian? What? Preposterous. No kindred would trust them, nor would they trust us. Did Jack tell you that? Because it sounds like you've been taken for a fool. I was told by the Quasian agent sent to steal the sarcophagus. And you believed them? They've been trying to take over L.A. for years. It's a ruse, a falsehood, spread to undermine my rule and turn kindred against each other, thin our ranks. They are duplicitous, evil creatures. Did they not try to kill you? They did. Insurance. They lied to you in case you lived through the encounter. They hoped to create dissension in the ranks, rumors. It's a trick older than you or I. Okay. Um. Well, you know, I'm going to believe them. Um. I don't also don't want to open the sarcophagus, but let's open it. Let's do it. We've been told repeatedly, do not open the sarcophagus. This will be bad. What have you assessed so far? Unfortunately for the Heralds of Doom, it appears we won't be opening Pandora's box. The markings, as far as I can tell, are of Assyrian origin. An extraordinary piece, but nothing earth-shattering. I see. Then there is no good reason why we shouldn't open it. <clears throat> oh, Budge. Beckett, do you see any mechanism for the lid? I haven't as yet had a chance to pour over it with my fine-tooth comb. I think I have one in my bag. <clears throat> why won't it... Why won't it open, Beckett? And you, I thought you said it looked as if it had been opened on the Dane. I want it open! You... You and Beckett, figure out a way to open it. I need to know what's inside. I have other matters to attend to. Come get me when a solution has been found. Ah, the depths to which I'll sink to prove others wrong. The young ones get so temperamental. Fortunately for Sebastian, is it? I'd already made up my mind to open the sarcophagus. If only to show the city that Gehenna, contrary to popular belief... Has not begun. Okay. Okay. Um. What do you think's inside? Put your ear to it. I'll shake it, and you tell me what you think's inside. All right. Stupid question. How do we open it? Hmm. Fortunately for us, I know of someone who has distinguished himself in this field. Me? I'm good at opening things. Uh. Okay. Who? His name is Dr. Anders Johansson, a professor of archaeology from Norway. He was the one responsible for finding the sarcophagus, and as far as I know, the only authority on its origin and design. And where can I find him? Until yesterday, he could have been found in his suite at the Empire Hotel downtown. But when I stopped by earlier this evening, all I found was spilt coffee on a morning paper... Appears he's been abducted. By who? I detected the scent of myrrh incense, which is usually burned in monasteries. Also, I found beach sand in part of a muddy footprint. Putting two and two together, I located a monastery near a beach in Malibu, where I believe hunters are holding Johansson captive. Okay, you figured out all that from sniffing around his room? Actually, there were two hunters on the roof of the building opposite the hotel who were positively delighted to tell me everything they knew, provided I stopped dangling them headfirst over the side. Fair enough, fair enough. So the hunters have this guy. What would hunters want of an archaeologist? The hunters abducted Dr. Johansson for his own protection, or at least that's how they've justified it. He's being held by the Society of Leopold and used, quite ingeniously, as bait for Prince LaCroix's minions. Oh, like me. The Society of Leopold? 
Sebastian mentioned you ran into one of the hunters from the Society of Leopold some time ago. They're so secret a church organization, I don't even think they know if they exist. But essentially, they're murderers for Christ, or some such deity. Okay, so how do we get them out? You'll have to go to the monastery and find a way into the tunnels beneath where the hunters are holding Johansson. I'm afraid I can't accompany you, but then it's best you go alone. Too many of us might set them off, like fundamentalists on contrary opinion. Uh, how do I get there? I wouldn't recommend walking. Certainly Sebastian's already provided cab fare. I'm sure he always spares no expense when archaeology is at stake. Okay, I have a few questions before I go. Excellent. Um, so, anything else you can tell me about the Society of Leopold? The Society, for the most part, knows very little about us. But they do know how to kill and torture us, and that's enough. Also, some of them exhibit powers that can make them quite formidable. Best not to announce yourself. Okay, sneaky. You spoke of Gehenna before. Think the sarcophagus is part of it? Well, if we open it up and the world ends, then yes. If we open it up and the world does not end, then no. I'd wager the latter. Okay. Um, have you learned anything else about the Thin Bloods? How any sane kindred could think these poor unfortunates are an immediate threat to us is absurd. Most were afraid, or at the very least uneasy, around me. Tragic. Their desperation could very well hold the spark of revolution, however. Hmm. Tell me about yourself. Hmm. I've said quite a lot about myself already. I know even less about you than you do me. Why don't you tell me about yourself? Well, I found it's easy to get what you want when you're as good-looking as I am. Sometimes I think the Nosferatu are justified in their prejudices. But to each their own, I suppose. Unless you've got further questions, I'd really like to get back to looking at the sarcophagus. Um, all right. Well, I did have another question. Excellent. I'm ready to get the professor. Remember, Dr. Johansson is an innocent. He has no idea we actually exist. Try not to put the idea in his head. Okay. Prince, you got anything to say? Did you find a way to open the sarcophagus? Getting the sarcophagus back was quite an expensive ordeal. I can't have my protege looking plebeian, can I? You'll find I can be very generous towards those who serve me well. Thank you. Thanks, I had a question. Which is... Uh, what do you know about the Kuei Jin? Traditionally, the Kuei Jin has stayed in Asian territory, and the kindred Europe, and later North America. But recently, they invaded the West Coast, killing off a substantial number of Anarchs. They lack the organization of the Camarilla, and think nothing of breaking the masquerade. Though we share similar traits, there is no fraternity between us. We embrace. They rise from the grave. They do not know the pleasure of blood. They are without clan. And oh yes, they believe our kind to be inferior. They are as much of a threat as the wolves. Wolves? Werewolves. I can still recall a time when cities were surrounded by miles of forests full of the beasts. But progress has taken care of that problem. All right, thank you. Well, with that, I think it's time to end the episode there. Thank you for watching. And next time, well, we're going to the Society of Leopold to rescue an archaeologist. See you then. Goodbye.